And if you're a Blender artist, you're probably looking for awesome Blender add-ons that you can use for your motion graphics, effects, and also texturing. And today we have a couple of cool brand new add-ons and updated add-ons that you definitely want to take a look at. And with that said, let's dive right into it. And if you've ever wanted 3D characters, props, or even assets that you can use for your motion graphics, then you might want to consider taking a look at the folks at 3D Design. Recently, they've updated their 3D library with tons of 3D models, characters, and also PNG files that you can use. From characters to avatars, hands, illustrations, heads, animals, anonymous, robots, and a ton of other props and assets that you can find here. They've just simply made it super easy for anyone that's into motion graphics to take advantage of all of the assets that they have here and start creating. More so, they've also recently announced an all access plan which gives you all of the content that they have within their library with a 30% discount. Additionally, with all of the assets that you get here, you'd also be having their PNG renders. With tons of combination to get you your desired asset or desired character that you're trying to create, this simply makes it super easy for every motion graphic artist that is using Blender or would like to rely on some PNG renders to get going with it. So whether you're looking for avatars, characters, some animals, some anonymous characters that deals with faceless rigged 3D characters, or maybe you're into robots, vehicles, worlds, fonts, mockups, or interior designs, then you simply find this super useful. And if you're into motion design and geometry nodes, then you might want to consider taking a look at the Geo Nodes modifier. This is a beautiful add-on that comes with tons of geometry node setups. So if you like to create complex motion graphics, then you might want to take advantage of this. This comes with cloners, modifiers, effectors, and some very interesting motion graphics style tools that you can use to create that complex motion graphics that you want, giving you tools to enhance your scene and build easily. This is a very interesting geometry node modifier tool that you should check if you're into motion graphics. So whether you're looking for cloners, falloffs, instances, light distributors, primitive, simulators, and so on, this is currently tailored to fit your needs. And for those who would like to test this before they purchase it, there's a free version that allows you to get 16 of these modifiers, play with them before you make a final purchase. Additionally, if you also go over to their storefront, you'd also notice that they have a couple of other cool stuff that you might want to get. So from free ones to paid ones, all of these are currently available, so do well to check them out. The folks at Zint Studio have just released Shape It. Shape It is an interesting 3D motion design and graphic design set of tools that allows anyone to import varying shapes and use them for their MoGraphs. This also comes with 100 plus 3D motion elements, 35 animation presets. At the same time, this comes with a dynamic string and there are sets of PNG sequences for all shapes for videos depending on what you're trying to create. So whether you're trying to make some metal, glass or some interesting motion presets, then you have all of this available. More also, you can convert shapes into soft bodies and drive soft body floating balloons animation with them. And with the Dyna string, you can also have fun by simply creating special simulation cables which you can attach to several objects depending on what you're trying to make. So whether you're trying to create tons of animation which you can use for product adverts or maybe you're just looking for something that you can use for your motion graphics in terms of elements that you can tweak and use to create some interesting visuals for yourself, this just simply allows you shape your motion graphics however you choose. AutoSmear is an amazing add-on that allows you to add smear to objects that you have. This add-on simply comes with a couple of node groups that you can work with. One of them deals with the duplicates, another one deals with the curve, and you also have the straight smearing. So depending on how you would like to smear your animation, then this might just be the right one for you. There's also a few quality of life improvement tools that comes with this, which includes the reset smear and also the cleanup tools. With this, it is very easy for you to reset and also clean up certain smears that you don't want to have when adding smears to your animation. So if you're into animes or maybe you like to have some very interesting looking motions when creating your next animation, then the auto smear might just be the right tool for you. The folks at RBD Lab has just recently released RBD 1.5. RBD Lab 1.5 now comes with the Metasoft, with Metalsoft model, you can now start deforming metals. This simply allows you shatter metals in multiple ways than one, and you can also use this to deform, break, and also style however you want your metal piece to look like. Interestingly, the close simulation which currently comes with RBD 1.5 now ships with some rigid body set of tools that simply allows for soft constraints in RBD. You'll also be able to create some very interesting simulations pretty quickly which normally would take you more time to create so if you're into fracturing deformation or probably you like to create some interesting close simulations then you might want to consider checking out RBD with all of their customizable set of tools and also impressive features that they have to offer 
Colorist Pro is currently doing a 35 early adopters discount and this is a lot and viewport color grading tool made available by Monkey Business. The idea behind this is for you to be able to color grade your scenes directly within Blender's viewport. Taking advantage of so many tools that is currently available, this just simply makes it super easy for anyone that would like to color grade their scenes right inside of Blender. With options to color manage, do some selective coloring, throw in some lens flare and dirt, add some glare, do some film emulation and so on. This tool just simply offers so much more. And if you're into playing with lots, this also offers you some very interesting set of tools that you can use to get this going. This 35% offer is running from the 27th of October all the way to the 30th of November 2023. And if you're into color grading, and probably you're thinking about the tool that you can use to play with your saturation and vibrance, your tone control, color spaces, grains, and so much more in real time, then you might want to consider taking a look at the Colorist Pro and seeing how much you can get with it. SM Acvis have just released 2D People Acvis. The idea behind the 2D Acvis is for anyone who is into architectural visualization to add 2D people and control them easily. We all know how populating scenes in your 3D viewport takes a chunk on your computer's performance, so if you're into architectural visualizations or probably you just need 2D people to be around your scene, for population or crowd system, then the 2D People Acvis might just be the tool for you. With controls to add random images, control how much of these images you get to see, rotate them to look at the camera at various points, or simply allow them to have their spaces in a 3D viewport, this tool gives you all of that capability, with additional options to add color correction and also color correct the tuning of the characters that you're working with. If you like to get the 2D People as PNGs, there is a free version that is also available and with the link in the description you can come right here and check these ones for yourself. So if you're looking for cutout people which you can use for your architecture visualization then this might just be a very wonderful pick for you. The folks at Procedural Generation has made a couple of interesting nodes and also simulation tools previously, and today we're looking at the real-time explosion generation which generates procedural explosions in Blender. The idea for this tool is for anyone to create real-time explosions directly on their viewport by simply drawing and directing how they would like their explosions to be. This is currently a geometry node tool which gives you a good number of parameters to control how you would like your simulation to work. So whether you're creating an explosion scene, or maybe you're just thinking about creating something that might be fun, then this this tool just simply gets you going. And for those who are thinking about creating knittings for their characters or simply create some amazing characters that are made of knittings, then this generator is also another beautiful one that can get you up to speed. The folks at Procedural Generation have already created a ton of interesting tools which just simply makes your life easy. From particles all the way to sci-fi generation to medieval ones down to some construction add-ons which is a very interesting one that allows anyone to generate variety of procedural animations. Every single thing that the folks at Procedural Generation has is absolutely amazing and I would suggest that you come check them out yourself and see all of the nice things that you can do with them. Benianus has actually made a couple of interesting things before and we've talked about some of the beautiful things that they've made on the storefront and today we're seeing something that looks pretty interesting. Benianus has just recently released an interior architectural visualization in Blender and this is a short course for anyone who is thinking about doing architectural visualizations in Blender. This course is targeted for intermediate artists who are thinking about getting into architectural visualization. A couple of things that are discussed within this course includes the texturing, the lighting, compositing, rendering and post-production. Although modeling is not discussed within this course, However, if you've always wanted to get into interior architectural visualization, then the interior Agvis in Blender short course from Blendianus might just be the right pick for you. And for Blender artists that are into sculpting, Hussein has made a couple of assets that you might want to check out. He has recently released a horn volume that deals with various versions of horns that you might want to apply to your character. Interestingly, if you're also into winged characters, there's also one for that. And there are also interesting assets that you can get for metal VDMs, wood VDMs, and reptile VDMs. So currently, all of these are doing a 30% off and this is also applicable to the muscle VDMs that currently exist. So if you would like to take advantage of any of these VDMs and start working with them and start sculpting and make your life easier when sculpting in Blender, then all of these are currently available. So this is it. All of this impressive stuff are now here and if you're into motion graphics, animation, simulation or probably you like doing your texturing in Blender or you like to learn how to do your architectural visualization, 
in Blender, then you can simply go over to the link in the description and check them out. There's also a couple of add-ons that have just been updated during the time we were recording and we're also going to put those in the description. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.